I don't want to work with you again, but that show was amazing. Wait, Brian, do you keep, <laughs> there's this weird thing that you do when I think. As you can see, Brian messes with people on the darker side and sometimes borderline offensive like this. I left that set and I could say, Brian's a friend of mine. Yeah, that's called acting. Well, that's, well, that's hurtful. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. <laughs> One of the possible reasons why he might do this is that he enjoys complexity. He doesn't just like a simple joke, but rather adding a twist to it. Like this example, he could have totally ended the joke, but he deliberately kept the person guessing. I don't want to work with you again, but that show. Wait, Brian, do you keep, <laughs> there's this weird thing that you do when I think no, we're in a great honest. space. You know, I'm just being honest. I think, I, I think we're think in a great space. It. Now let's look at his dark sense of humor. Here's him joking about monoxide poisoning. Exhaust of the bus was going right to the intake, cooling it. When you breathe in carbon monoxide, you want it cool. The cooler, so the better. Yeah. You... Of course, not everyone's going to find this funny, but he really likes to take those serious topics and kind of add a twist as a setup for his jokes because no one will see it coming. It shows you that to him, not too much things are off limits. He doesn't care what people think too much and isn't too sentimental. Here's a joke on, of all things, COVID. Contracted COVID fairly early on in the pandemic, is that right? We didn't have it and we had to hire a contractor to make sure that we got it. Uh, <laughs> it's very COVID. expensive. You don't want to go to the cheapest one. If you like stuff like this, give us a like. But this quick thinking and wits really comes from this strong desire to just go beyond the obvious and go deep into the details. Just see how he talks about mustaches. If a mustache drops below the creases of the, of the lips, no, that gets badass. Always above the crease of the lips and you thin it out. Doesn't look as masculine. It's not just a mustache, but how people feel about it. What does it represent? He is crafting exactly how he want the mustache to look. Here's another example on handshakes. The handshake came from showing you have no weapon and, and out of that, came the clasp to say, I don't have a weapon either. He has a strong desire to want things to be very thorough. And if you're looking for ways to become smarter beyond your age, I have a different video on that. But the only way that this could have worked for him is that if you had like a take it or leave it kind of attitude. Just listen to how he responds here. Cranston always take his pants off. Man just wants to show his underwear. I gave up on that a long time ago and I'm just giving America what it wants to see. Apparently. He doesn't just straight up answer this embarrassing question, but he also added a slight humor on top of that. It's the small things like this that shows you that he isn't trying to get the approval of other people. He's just trying to entertain himself. Either if you like it or don't like it, I'm just going to say it. Here's another example. I've actually never seen it. Why? I just haven't had a chance. <laughs> Come on. Was it good? I I've never seen it either. <laughs> A lot of people actually try to fake that attitude of not caring, but the truth is people can always tell. So let me know, do you like dark humor? And I have some other stuff for you down in the descriptions. And I will talk to you in my next video.